been a good beer. Uh, people really love it. Rock Art's Humble Harvester is back by popular demand. Nice IPA. It's got great uh, citrus flavors, some grapefruit flavor to it. Owner Matt Nato and the brewery were busy canning the beer Tuesday for its next release. This machine fills four at a time, comes over to the seamer. That spins the can and puts the lid on. But NATO says the really unique thing about Humble Harvester is that part of the proceeds go to the nonprofit Salvation Farms. It's a great way to help spread our, our message around the state. Teresa Snow founded the organization in 2005 to work with farmers to get food that went unharvested and make it available to communities across Vermont. We do this in a desire to make Vermont a more food independent state. Last year alone, they collected just under 200,000 pounds of produce to help food insecure Vermonters. So that could be preschool programs, it could be a Meals on Wheels program, it could be a local food shelf. But Snow says much more can be done. Salvation Farms found that 14.3 million pounds of food goes unharvested every year. It's um, a line of 7,000 pickup trucks full of food, and that line of pickup trucks would be 26 miles long. She hopes to continue to grow her organization to get more food out of the fields and into hungry bellies with the help of Rock Arts donations. And a nonprofit that's innovative, addressing an issue that's only becoming a hot topic now, unrestricted dollars are essential to helping us keep our doors open. And for the owners of Rock Art, it's about supporting a cause they hold dear. My wife has been um very involved with the local food movement. It just seemed like a natural fit that what they do really is part of what uh, we believe in strongly. Because of the popularity, Rock Art will now brew the Humble Harvester multiple times a year. In Morrisville, Abby Isaacs, WPTZ News Channel 5.